We are frequently asked to cover the intriguing ancient documents of ancient Sumeria, and for good reason. For although the Sumerian king list is officially classified as an accurate and important chronographic document from ancient Mesopotamia, the lifespans of many of the oldest of its rulers are stated as having lived for upwards of 30,000 years. Furthermore, there is a noticeable steady decline in the duration of these rulers' lives. This gradual decline, when seen in its complete translated form, if, of course, it is indeed an accurate documentation of history, displays a clear example of devolution over many thousands of years. It lists a long succession of cities in Sumer and the surrounding regions. The first fragment of the text, which is largely believed to date back at least 4,000 years, was found in the early 1900s by Hermann Hilbrecht at the site of ancient Nippur, with its discovery subsequently published in 1906. Since Hilbrecht's discovery, at least 18 other fragments of the list have been found, most of them dating from the second half of the Isin dynasty. Yet this controversial claim of past rulers' ages is a reoccurring theme with many of these fragments, reiterating these incredibly long lifespans. Furthermore, intriguingly, the Epic of Gilgamesh, perhaps the most famous, still surviving contribution to world history dating back to Mesopotamia, is depicted as nothing short of a giant. Often depicted, carrying what is perceived as his pet lion, the cat, however, appears far from tame attempting to take a chunk from his arm, but due to Gilgamesh's relative size to his furry friend, merely appears as nothing more than a kitten when in his embrace. Could these claims of a 20,000-year lifespan be connected to the additional claim of many of the figures from this era's incredible sizes? Could heavy research and a subsequent in-depth expose regarding the reality surrounding the claims of the Mesopotamian civilization finally confirm the past existence of not only giants, but human beings, whom, after their derivation from divinity, initially had lifespans stretching into 30,000 years? For as the list states, and I quote, After the kingship descended from heaven, they were situated within Eridung in Alulim. It is named after Eridung, who became king. He ruled for 28,800 years with Alijar subsequently ruling for 36,000 years after him. Two kings who ruled for 64,800 years." End quote. As one would predict, such claims are simply dismissed by academics the world over. This is, of course, due to the tales of the king's immense longevity, and due to their own paradigms, one they are often funded to regurgitate, would have simply been impossibility. Additionally, Along with this staunch denial to even consider such possibilities within mainstream study, this same fate befalls the countless, gigantic, unexplained megaliths found the world over. This is a clear example of how valuable academia perceives their illusionary, oracle-esque all-knowing regarding a complete history of human civilization. For if one was to consider such past individuals, having been responsible for the Great Pyramids for example, one could finally explain how, and indeed who, accomplished such ancient feats. But I digress. Could Mesopotamia be the key to unlocking many secrets hidden or lost within human history? We find such possibilities as highly compelling.